What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you on how to create a new animation state for your character It's gonna be a very easy video to follow so let's get started But first check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 With all the mechanics you need in only one week And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps you get 20% off So check it out through the link in the description Alright, so let's go into our characters folder, mannequins, animations, and let's open our animation blueprint. In this case, I'm gonna be using the one from the third person template as a demonstration, but of course, you can use your own custom animation blueprint that you have created. In my case, let me open to the parent, which is ABP Manny, and let's go into the NM graph. So, of course, this is where we are going to be creating all of our different states. In this case, we have already have a main states uh, machine graph with all the different states that we have. As you can see, in here we have uh, three different states. Okay, we have the main locomotion, which will be idle, walk, and jog, and then we have the land, which is a completely different state just for one animation. And then I will consider this as a group of states, but uh, you know, just the jumping and falling overall. So, what I need to do is get one, you know, at any point of the grass, just right click and create a state. In this case, this might be whatever you want, okay? Uh, for example, use new state. But whatever you want, crouching, uh, swimming, flying, whatever you want. And then you can get the border of the animation, you drag it into the next border. I'm gonna do so. So now basically, I can transition from this state into this one. But of course, they have some conditions uh, to need to be applied. So if I just enter in this arrow, which goes from locomotion to new state, I will need to create a boolean. And this will be, uh, will be the is, you know, swimming, is crouching, is whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna do a demonstration, so is new state, <laughs> okay? It's a generic one. Now let me just go ahead and drag it. So if this boolean is true, it will go there. And now for the other one, for the other transition, it's going to be exactly the same, but the opposite. So, it will be if it's not boolean, so not true. If so, I can go ahead and go back. So, in my new state, I can now, you know, just go ahead and put whatever I want. In this case, for example, I can make a new state that it will be falling in a loop, because whatever reason. So, let me use loop animation here. And then, as you can see, when I go is new state and basically enable this, you can see that now I pass into my new state from locomotion to here and it's falling. And if I disable it, it goes back to locomotion. So you have all the controls here. And of course, this can be applied from the code. So if my character, you know, presses a key, I can go ahead and activate this, etc. So if you found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my Patreon and YouTube members. Check out the Virtus FPS sports. It is incredible. Uh, join my Discord server. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, Blossett, I bind. Bye.